I got the questions, I wrote the questions down off of YouTube and now um, I'm going to take on my phone so at least I fit in with the technology. Hello guys, welcome to Supercars of London, living with a supercar and the first uh, question and answer YouTube video that I've ever done. I've seen a few on YouTube, I know how they work and thought that this is the best way to answer a lot of your questions. I've got tons of comments which I'm absolutely so grateful that you uh, take the time to comment on and I just want to clear a few things up and hopefully after this video you'll know a lot more about me, uh, my YouTube channel um, and the car um, and my plans for the future. So let's just go straight into the questions. I've got my um, iPhone with me, unfortunately I don't have an iPad so um, we're going to have to go off the um, iPhone. The first question is why did I choose the Audi R8? Well, it was up against the C63, Nissan GTR, and Lamborghini Gallardo. And if I quickly go through the reasons why I didn't choose the others, hopefully uh, it will become clearer why I chose this. The GTR, it was too big. Uh, it's got four seats. Yes, the performance was incredible, but it just didn't have that supercar feel. Um, and also the Nissan badge sort of um, gives the game away a bit. The Lamborghini Gallardo, a great car. Lamborghini, my favorite manufacturer but the Gallardo was probably too old, um, too unreliable and too expensive to run. Compared to the Audi R8, which is near enough on the same chassis, um, I got a lot more car, um, a lot more reliability um, through the Audi R8. And the Mercedes C63, which was actually up against this car in the final, the C63 I absolutely love and is one of my favorite cars. There's no real fault to it, but it doesn't have the supercar looks like the Audi R8 does. Um, so overall out of those four cars and in with my budget and price range it had to be the um, Audi R8 V8 oh my phone's uh... next one um, there's, a, there's a, a, a question on YouTube do I regret buying the Audi R8 not at all it is a beautiful car to look at everyone that I've seen everyone that I've spoken to say how beautiful this car is Yes, it doesn't have the same sound as a, an AMG or a Lamborghini, but I'm getting there. Um, Army tricks are sending over the exhaust system, which is going to make this car sound seriously, seriously mean and give Lord Alim a run for his money in a, in a rev battle, which uh, video coming soon. Next question, how many miles have I done in this car since I got it? Um, well, I went to Project UK for the new wheels, which is a 250 mile round trip. Um, oh, on top of that, um, probably about 100 and 150 miles on top of that so maybe like 300 to 400 miles since I got since I got the car and each mile I've had a massive smile on my face as you could see on the YouTube videos um, next question do I scrape my car all the time am I scared about scratching these new wheels um, the short answer yes and yes I scrape my car quite a lot the R8 is low but projects design lowered it even more um, so over uneven roads, it is, um, it's quite a slow drive, um, but obviously when I get on dual carriageways and motorways, I can open the taps up. And driving down narrow roads like you saw on my Instagram, um, yes, uh, these wheels are expensive and awesome, and I don't want to scratch them because they look awesome at all black. Um, so yeah, the short answer is yes and yes. Here's another question that I've answered a few times on YouTube. Is the Audi R8 V8 a supercar? Um, in my opinion, it is. Um, of course, the Audi badge is much more aimed towards the luxury, prestigious market. But when Audi created the R8, it was um, aimed to rival the likes of the Porsche 911 Turbo um, and the 430s and Gallardos, which um, back in the day were the supercars. Um, Yes, you could use this and the Porsche every day, um, but they, they have the supercar looks, and um, back when this car was launched in 2007, it had the supercar performance. The supercar game has completely changed um, in the last seven or eight years, so if I was to look at an Audi R8 now, um, compared to the 458s, the um, McLaren 12Cs, which um, people seem to compare it to, yes, it's not a supercar, it cannot compete with that, but... Um, it's got the looks, it's got the sound, and, and it does everything that I need it to. Um, the 458s, 12Cs, Aventadors, Hurricanes, all of those are, are, are sort of near five times the price of what you can buy one of these for now. So um, to answer the question as best as possible, in my opinion, the Audi R8, um, V8 and V10 
um, are very much a supercar in terms of looks, um, in terms of the way that they make people feel, um, and the special feeling that I get from driving it sitting so low to the ground and having two seats. Best car I've seen and been in? Great question. Um, the best car I've seen is got to be the uh, one of five Pagani Zonda Cinque Roaches. I absolutely love that car. Uh, we saw it power slide loads of times, uh, give it some great revs, and it just looks awesome. The best car that I've been in, uh, probably if you scroll back a fair few pages on Supercars of London, you'll see that I've been in a Ferrari Enzo, which was a fantastic experience. The car is ridiculously fast, probably one of the fastest cars I've been in. Um, but yeah, just the looks that you get in that car, it just turns heads like uh, it's, it's an effortless car, looks fantastic and is a real classic in the making. So uh, yeah, Pagani's on the Cinque and the Ferrari Enzo. Here's a, here's a question that I've been asked probably hundreds of times, um, what job do I have? I'm actually going to be making a video um, on YouTube of how I bought a supercar or an Audi R8 at the age of 23. Um, but the job that I have, I would say that I was a, a company manager. Um, I run my own company, Supercar Scene. I, uh, there's a couple of websites that branch off from the company. Um, and also the YouTube channel as well. There's been stories about how I bought this supercar. And um, I will agree and uh, confirm that this car has been bought from YouTube. Um, and I'll continue to run it alongside YouTube as it's sort of uh, a tribute to the Supercars of London YouTube channel. I'm completely uh, amazed, blessed that I've um, been able to buy this car at my age um, and hope that I can move up the game um, and get a Lamborghini very, very soon. Which moves nicely onto the next question. A lot of people have been asking, when is my second supercar? Um, I've only had this three weeks, uh, absolutely loving it. Can't wait for the exhaust to come, can't wait for it to be wrapped because then I feel like the car is uh, complete and also mine. But um, uh, I'm sure you guys know that Lamborghini is my dream. Um, so I'm going to have to make a, a lot of videos, uh, go to London a lot of times and do a lot of walking to catch these uh, awesome cars on the road, but also work hard um, day in, day out and try and get to the uh, to the, lab, the Lamborghini goal, which I hope to achieve by 25. So um, according to my watch that I don't have, um, I don't even need a watch. Um, it gives me two years. I'm 23 at the moment. Um, I'll be 25 in uh, 2016. So. Uh, Hopefully you, you can subscribe that long and, and wait, but de definitely there's going to be some awesome videos to come and the Lamborghini will happen, I promise, and I'll be making insane videos on that and hopefully it will spit flames as well. Um, the last question is probably quite an important one as well. Have you got any advice on setting up or starting a YouTube channel? Um, of course, I started uh, seven years ago when I was 15 years old, didn't really know anything about YouTube and just uploaded videos, but now um, you really have to do something unique and find a niche. Um, and once you've found that, then it's all about um, growing, growing a following, um, starting up your whole social media network of Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and just sort of bringing everyone in on the journey on what you're aiming to achieve. And try and do something different as well. If it's based around cars, um, then I, I don't know. Uh, check out everyone who's ever filmed a supercar on YouTube and uh, find out what they're missing. Check out my videos and, and criticize them if there's anything that's missing or whether you want to see more of something. And that's really, um, you're answering your own question there and you can go out and actually fill in the gaps on what everyone else is missing. Um, so hopefully um, send me all of your videos, all of your YouTube channels and stuff like that and I can check them out and give you as much advice as possible. Um, thank you everyone for watching. I hope this video has cleared up at least some of the uh, some of the questions and I hope that the videos in uh, uh, that are going to come um, in the next coming months and years um, that uh, other questions will also get answered but as for now um, that's it guys thank you for watching I hope it hasn't been too boring I'm not sure how I do a Q&A but hopefully I've done a, a good job and you guys have uh, found it interesting about finding more about me my channel and my car Stay tuned for what's to come. We've still got some awesome videos from London and also this car. As I'm filming it, uh, this video, the exhaust system hasn't arrived, but when it does, I promise you, the videos are gonna change and it's just gonna be incredible and I can't wait. So uh, take care, make sure that you subscribe and uh, keep checking back for videos every Saturday and Tuesday and the other day in the week, whenever I can uh, upload, I will.
Cheers, guys. Thank you for all the support, and I'll see you very, very soon. Fun. Oh, I'm in third. Jesus.